Okay, it never fails at the end of a diversity training, I always get hit with this question. If a black man gets pulled over by a white police officer, why does he always think it's a matter of race? Maybe sometimes it is. On the other hand, maybe he was actually speeding. On the other hand, maybe he had marijuana in the car. Or on the other hand, maybe that cop just had a bad day with a group of African Americans prior to that, and he happened to pull over the one African American that's driving a Mercedes Benz because he thinks he can't afford it. Who knows? The reality is this. We show up every single day based on the stories that are playing in our heads, based on the experiences we have in our hearts. Part of the reason why African Americans and members of ethnic minority groups tend to jump to the race side of things is because that's been their experience. Now, on the other hand, let's be fair. You have plenty of white police officers who are just trying to do their jobs and they're not being racist. You know what they're being? They're being officers of the law. And I'm going to tell you this. If you break the speed limit, guess what? You're probably going to get pulled over. If you run a stoplight, guess what? You're probably going to get pulled over. And God is my witness. If you are driving with some marijuana in your car and you get pulled over, stop the race talk. You're an idiot. Bottom line, here's what I see. Here's what I know. Has race been thrown out? Has racism been thrown out way too much in this country, way too much in the dialogue? Maybe, but we still have the same systemic issues that we had yesterday and the day before and the day before. And it's not to the point where we can finally sit down and talk as adults. You know, we always tell kids, when kids start fighting with each other, we always say, come on kids, work it out. Don't fight, work it out, talk, use your words. Yet, here we are as adults and we're overgrown children and we don't use our words. You know what we do? We use our fists. We use our frustration, right? We make allegations that it's racism. We make allegations that it's sexism, that it's, you know, uh, uh, someone's being homophobic. Sometimes that's the case or maybe they're just coming from their own perspective. And maybe some, at some place, at some time, we can just sit and talk as adults and find that common interest, find that common core where we can talk as human beings because we came into this world as human beings. And before I knew that I was African American, before you knew you were whatever you are on the other side of the screen, guess what? We were human beings. And chances are that if we were in, play, in a playground and I was two, three years old, four years old, whatever, I was probably running around playing with you. And I didn't care what color you were. I just cared that you knew how to play tag and then you were it. So I was trying to run from you. Folks, you know, race is difficult, but damn, maybe it's not as difficult as we make it out to be. So maybe this is my opportunity to tell you, take a step back, take a breath, relax, and look at the whole total package. On the, for those of y'all who might be wondering where I get my perspective from, I am the victim of cross burning, so I know what it's like to be discriminated against. But you know what? I can either continue to exist in the state of, I want it you know, break down all these walls and I want to be angry? Or I could take a step back and finally say, yeah, anger is played. Let's get to the point where we can actually talk and grow and find out that maybe it's not about race. Maybe it's about a dialogue.